Yeah, I, I don't know any like real sheikhs like uh, face. You do not need like, to know anyone. Go check thinking. the internet. Who is who is a sheikh? You can call him for free. And tell him I'm a Muslim. This is my story. Can you please join us? Do you not need to know him? He's not a doctor. He will charge you for, you know, consultation. Actually, Muhammad, he does. He charges for consultation? Oh, yeah. Muhammad, he will not even speak to you in private unless you pay him. Uh, do you have hadith? Not hadith. We have Quran. But can you show me where he does say that? Oh, okay. Here we go. If you want to speak to the Prophet, let us see. Read with me this verse. Let us show you this verse. This one would be good. By the way, did you pay me anything to talk to me? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm just asking, you know, in case. No, no. All right. What do you think, what do you think about a person claim he is serving God, but he will not talk to you unless you pay him? Would be really uh, weird. What if I is. say now to people who they are listening to me, listen, if you want to go to heaven, pay me. What do you think about that? Ridiculous. Well, this is what your prophet did. Chapter 9, verse 103. Take sadaqah, arms from their worth. Uh, 103. Mm -hmm. Higher, yeah, take so. Okay, so when you take sadaqah from them, you give it to Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is, is that so, by the way? Huh? D directly to him? Like, I thought it in general, like, it's just a central place, and then it gets uh, given to the... Muhammad people. is a man, you know, there's no state yet, you know. There's no state. He's just a man like me, you know. I'm talking, he's trying to collect believers. And then... Uh, there's some they accept, there's some they don't believe, but he's saying to them clearly, uh, you know, if you pay me, that will purify you. So do you believe if somebody gave money to a, someone claimed to be a prophet, that is a reason to purify you, which means it will delete your sin? Mm, no, but I thought in general with most religions it's just you give alms or sadaqah in this case and that is a good thing well, if like this is it. if this is what uh, what is meant then that will not purify you because simply if you give if you give that will not purify you and a forgiving sin is not by donation if somebody donate to me he's not his, his sin is not forgiven what does it have to do but with it's forgiving? a good deed it's a good deed there's nothing called good deed that's not a good deed why is it a good deed because simply if you are being a good man yeah. So how you are going not to do a good deed anyway. So when the Lord, he says, from their fruit, you shall know them. Yeah. From the so Bible, it's not a deed. It is how you know the good tree from the bad tree. So if this is a good deed, will you give it to the poor, not to Muhammad? Yeah, but this, okay, I, I see what you mean, but this sentence in particular, it's no just problem. about... Let us go to the other one. I will show you no, this no, one. But just, I, I want to know, I want to understand. Like, mm. for example, like they say, okay, take that, the alms from their wealth. Uh -huh. And then what happens is like, okay, they take the alms and then they give it to the poor people. So, yeah, I don't see the particular problem with that aspect. It's not, it doesn't say it has to go directly to the prophet. Like nowadays, of course. Who is the one who is the one will go, you know, to him the money? Muhammad, he has 13 wives. What his job to pay for 13 houses? And all of them, they have slaves and servants. Who of us can open 13 houses, 13 women, 13 meal a day, uh, uh, extra three, and then in the top of that to close them, uh, uh, food, uh, or whatever uh, cost of a house. How it's many? Not by the alms, not by the sadaka. What is the job of Muhammad? Yeah. Then what he do? Okay, but I think like he throughout, especially throughout the l later parts of his life, he, um, I thought he earned quite a lot of money as well as he prophesied. I thought that. Okay, so if not, you not if you sadaka. are so if you are a prophet. Uh, you know, the, the purpose of anything, there's a purpose, right? If I give money, there's a purpose, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. So, does it say there that the money they will pay 
is made or paid to purify them or because it's a good deed? The money that's being given is made to purify them or is because it's a good deed? You say that? Okay, if it's a good deed, then that's not enough to purify you. Because purifying you will mean erase your sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so if I pay Muhammad, my sin is erased, correct? Uh, but that's not what it says. It just says, like, give the alms, like, to the poor people. To do what? I, to do, no, where, 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 them, where, is the, where is the poor people? Where is the poor people? Well, that, that's what an alm means, right? That's what sadaqah means, I assume. So you are giving it to Muhammad. But it doesn't say that it goes to him. Sadaqah, no, it says, it doesn't say it goes to the poor. Sadaqah, he is the man. Okay, uh, let it go. Let us find something more uh, uh, clear. Maybe this one for you is not is not enough. Uh, I mentioned to you that Muhammad will not talk to anyone unless he pay him. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. And then you showed this. Can you right? open chapter 58, verse number 12? Yeah. Do, I, do you want me to read it? Go ahead. Out loud? Okay. Oh, believers, when you consult the messenger privately, give something in charity before your consultation. Hmm. That is better and purer for you. Hmm. But if you lack the means, then Allah is truly all-forgiving, most merciful. What is this? Okay. Why, if somebody want to talk to Muhammad, you have to pay Muhammad? Okay, I see what you mean. The mm. only counter I can give, mm. and like I don't want to just attack in that case, but the only counter is maybe that he says, okay, you get the consultation, which is great, of course, but then just do a, another good deed by giving charity to poor people. Maybe no, no, that's you see, uh, focus on me. Mm. This consultation is the reason to pay, is that correct? Is, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but shouldn't people give anyway? I mean, what uh, what is the connection? Before you talk to the prophet, you better give something. It's, it does say in charity. It's charity like, to Muhammad. You see, you are you are focusing behind charity. It's charity for sure. I mean, yeah, you know, I I pay the prophet, but charity should not be have for return. If I give a charity, and I receive return, so I go if I go to the doctor. And then I pay the doctor in order to speak to the doctor. How in the world that is a charity? It's not, no. Okay, so Muhammad now is a prophet. And in order to speak to the prophet, I have to pay the prophet. And then he said this is a charity. He's just covering the, the you know, his love to money. Does it in Arabic say something uh, similar to sadaqah, and then it would imply uh, my, charity? My, to my friend, it says najwaqukum sadaqa, but this is still is to to meet Muhammad. The reason is, if is I say to you, if I say to you, you, I cannot talk to you. Sorry, unless you pay me. How in the world that is a charity? Can you show me the tafsir? Maybe that if if the tafsir says the same thing. The tafsir always they will make Muhammad the angel. You know those are Muslims who worship Muhammad. What you expect with tafsir? But even tafsir still you have to pay Muhammad. Yeah, but if do, do they say that the charity my, goes my friend, to the charity? Party. Do you agree with me that it's charity? They can they what can say charity? whatever they want. Does the Quran say that the charity goes here and there? No, it says to Muhammad. So. Anything will be added later. It can be anything. I can add now. Uh, he, he give it to the poor, but the it Quran, doesn't say directly that the charity. No, no. Goes you see, no. It have to go to Muhammad. Okay. When uh, Muhammad, he was sent by God, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did Muhammad promise those who give money to Muhammad multiply of reward in heaven? Sorry, can you repeat it? Did Muhammad promise that those who give money to Muhammad, they will have multiply of reward in heaven? Uh, I think so. Okay. Did Muhammad pay it back or Muhammad took it and never, or the promise is just a promise to be in heaven? Uh, I have no idea. All right. If we go in the Quran, we will find very funny thing. Do you think God need money? No, no. Okay. Who is that he will lend Allah a goodly loan? 
So that he may multiply it to him many times. Uh, do, uh, do you know what uh, chapter and verse? Chapter 2, verse number 2, 4, 5. Okay. Two, four, five. Goodly loan. You know, there's a goodly loan and bad loan. No, but maybe this, there's meant something else instead of this literal thing. Like, that's why loan I, is a I have no idea, but... It doesn't so make what sense is the purpose history. of this loan and why Allah will multiply to you your loan? Maybe it's something different than a loan that what we know in the financial No, world. it's about money. You can open the interpretation, no problem. Anything I say to you, by yeah. the way, take your time. and help. It's money. It's money. Who is the one who will lend Allah a goodly loan? Can't Allah support Muhammad with all the gold and the silver in the world? If he wanted to, yeah. So, he could, why, he could Allah, why Allah begging for money? Yeah, but that's an interpretation. I, I know what you... like. It, Not it interpretation, it like says this. that. I mean, what interpretation? I'm reading in Arabic, in English, whatever you want. Man dalladhi yuqridu Allahu qardan hasanan fayudha'ifahu. Do you Muslims believe that interest is haram? Uh, yeah, it is. But isn't it this is interest? Yeah, but the, if it's the similar loan as we know it in the financial world, then... Yeah. It's money. It's money. It's not anything else. It's money. It's just money. Yeah. What I mean to say, like, can we open Tafsir for this uh, ayah? Okay, we will go to the Tafsir. Chapter 2, verse number 2, 4, 5. All right. And this is Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Yeah. In this ayah, Allah encouraged his servants to spend in his cause. Allah mentioned this uh, same ayah in several other parts of his glorious Quran. And the hadith mention وَمَنْ يُقْرِدُ غَيْرَ, uh, غير عَدِيمٍ وَلَا ظَلُومٍ uh, Who would give the loan? He would be neither poor nor unjust. Okay. And then he says فَيُضَعِفُهُ لَهُ أَضْعَافًا كَثِيرًا Then he will multiply for him many times. Okay. So now it's the same. You give money. Allah will give it, multiply for you, many times. I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. Hmm. What Allah will do with the money? Is it is it really Allah to Allah? So, if Allah is God, He can make the earth, like, okay, I will go with you. Muhammad and uh, uh, the Muslim prophets, all of them, they are, they have the same God, correct? Yeah. Okay. Did Allah provide some prophets with rivers of money? Uh, he does. He did, yeah. Like who? Sulaiman. Sulaiman. Sulaiman, thank you very much. How come Allah did not open for him? <laughs> Hmm, sorry, how does uncle he what? doesn't open for him? Yeah, why uh, uh, why he did not uh, 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 why he did not open for him a river of money like Suleiman? Maybe it's just a different thing. Like every prophet had a different. Um, what different? The guy is begging for money. Yeah, but okay, but for example, Job or Ayub, he also what job like, wanted to have? Okay, hold on, know, but, Muhammad, yeah. he need money according to you to do good things. That's true. But what Suleiman, I mean he need maybe... he need money to build the house, to build the palace. It's not a big okay. th it's not a big deal. It's not even spreading uh, religion. The guy is just building a palace. So now look what it says here. Allah he gave Suleiman a fly a flying carpet. You believe in flying carpet? No. Why not? You are a Muslim. Uh, the screen is not uh, refreshed yet. Chapter thirty-four, verse number twelve. 